Ladies and gentlemen, people of London, Oxford Street, today we're here to bring you good news. Not bad news, but good news. If you turn on the TV, the first thing you'll see is bad news, fear. But we're here to bring you good news. You see, I was on the way to prison for eight years. But while I was on the way to prison, in the darkest point of my life, Someone told me about Jesus and someone told me Jesus can save me, Jesus can help me and I'll be honest with you, I laughed at him because I heard about Jesus but he shared with me that Christianity is not about a religion, Christianity is about a relationship with God. This is about us having a friendship with God. Yes. And let me say this, I had a void in my heart mm. and I tried to fill that void with drugs, partying, sex, the things of this world, but nothing could satisfy that hole in my heart. Yeah. And when my friend told me about Jesus, mm. friends, I received a peace that surpassed all understanding. Yes. That void in my heart was filled with the love of God. And I want to let you know, Jesus changed my life. And I'm here to say today on Oxford Street, there is no one like Jesus. And many people say, many people say there are many different ways to God. Many roads will lead to the same destination. I want to let you know, there is only one way. If you want to phone my telephone number, you can't phone me from five different telephone numbers. It's only through one unique number that you get access to my phone. And Jesus said in John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. And no man, no man, black, white, Polish, Asian, no man comes to the Father except through Jesus. I want to let you know, friends, that the coronavirus, if you want to be protected from it, Jesus can protect you. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm letting you know today, Jesus is alive. Yes. He changed my life when yes. I was 20 years old. Yes. And I want to let you know, it's not about religion. No. It's about relationship yes. with God. Oh, yeah. And there are people here, and you might be looking around and listening. I want to let you know and ask you a question. Where are we going to spend eternity? Look at this big red London bus going by. Imagine we're sitting on that bus and someone says, where are you going? And we say, I don't know, I'm just sitting on the bus. That would sound bizarre. I'm sitting on the bus, but I don't know where it's going. And the same way we're journeying through this life, waking up, making money, going to sleep, waking up, making money, going to sleep. Where are we going to spend eternity? And we're here to bring you good news. Yes. Not bad news, but good, good news. news. If you turn on the BBC, you'll see bad news. Yes. We're here to bring you good, good news. news. That Jesus is alive. Yes. That Jesus can wash you. Yes. That the blood of Jesus has power. Yes. And we cleanse the UK with the blood of Jesus. Yes. We cover the UK with the blood of Jesus. I declare the blood of Jesus is stronger than the coronavirus. The blood of of Jesus is stronger than the power of hell. The blood of Jesus is stronger. And there may be people and you don't know your destination, but you want to know. You want to be sure. I want to let you know there's two ways, heaven or hell. And this life is sure. Money will fade away. Mm. Buildings will fade away. Mm. When you're 85 years old, what's in your bank account won't matter anymore. But what will count for eternity is did you know Jesus? And I'm here to let you know today, you can know him. You can know where you're going to spend eternity. And if today you're listening and you want to give your life to Jesus, if today you're listening and you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, if today you're you're scared of the coronavirus, but you want the higher power of God to protect you. I want to let you know the most high is Jesus Christ. You don't get higher than Jesus. And if you want to accept Jesus into your heart today, I want you to lift up your hand wherever you are and I'm going to include you into a prayer. Just lift up your hand, just lift up your hand. Wherever you are, wherever you are. 
wherever you are, I see a hand there, wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, well, we're going to release that prayer right now and I want us all to repeat and let's encourage those that may be doing this for the yes. first time. If you want to give your life to Jesus, yes. if you want to rededicate your life to Jesus, repeat this prayer after yes. us right now. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm not perfect. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. But today, but today, I turn from my sin. I turn from my sin. I run into your arms. I run into your arms. Jesus. Jesus. Wash me in your blood. Wash me in your blood. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Today, I turn from my sin. I turn from my sin. And I say, Jesus. I say, Jesus. I declare with my mouth. I declare with my mouth. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. That Jesus is Lord. That Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord over my life. Jesus is Lord over my life. Jesus is Lord over the United Kingdom. Jesus is Lord over the United Kingdom. Jesus is Lord over the church. Jesus is Lord over the church. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 If, you said, if you said that prayer today for the first time or rededicated your life to the Lord, your name has been written in a big book in heaven. And I want you to connect with Christian afterwards here with the hoodie on. If you've given your life to Jesus for the first time today, you come and see Christian. It's just, Amen. it's the beginning of your journey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We've just finished a powerful day in central London where believers have been mobilized. The church has been equipped. Fire was falling in a mighty way. It was impartation. And then we went out on the street and we've been seeing people get saved, healed just met one precious girl who just gave her life to the Lord. It was powerful. And I said to my team, if we came here for this one girl, it was so worth it. I want to encourage the church and the body of Christ. Don't let the spirit of fear hold you back. Don't let coronavirus scare you. The fire of the Holy Spirit is stronger. The blood of Jesus is stronger. The church is being equipped and we're ready to see the gospel shake the nation in the darkest of hours. God bless you.